Hey there everyone, Ramesh here. In this video, I am going to talk about how to learn Spring Boot or the learning path for Spring Boot. Well, in this video, whatever I will explain the learning path for Spring Boot is my opinion, guys. So there can be any other opinions out there. Uh, but as per my opinion, I am going to explain you how you can learn Spring Boot step by step. Without further any delay, let's get started. The first step is you should learn Spring Core Basics. So please don't jump into Spring Boot directly. If you don't have prior knowledge of Spring Core Fundamentals, then it's very hard uh, hard to you guys to understand the Spring Boot internals or how the Spring Boot is doing behind the scenes. All right. So I would strongly suggest first learn Spring Core Fundamentals so that you will be able to understand the magic Spring Boot is doing behind the scenes okay so get familiar with dependency injection concepts and bin scopes annotations life cycle callbacks bin configuration styles like annotation based configuration java based configuration and xml configuration and the template pattern like a jdbc template jms template all right so just you know understand these spring core fundamentals so that you will be able to understand spring boot in depth and what the spring boot magic is uh, you know happening behind the scenes all right guys so this is my opinion guys so please don't jump directly into spring boot if you don't have prior knowledge of spring core basics all right so learn all these spring boot spring core concepts before uh, learning spring boot so this is my opinion the next step is learn how spring boot auto configuration works all right so this is a very very uh, important guys the power of spring boot came from its auto configuration mechanism and it is not a magic okay so spring boot addresses the problem that spring applications need a complex configuration by eliminating the need to manually set up the boilerplate configuration right so spring boot takes an opinionated view of the application and configures various components automatically by registering you know bins based on various criteria for example if you if you have huge you know spring you have MUC dependency in your uh, you know class path and spring boot assumes that you are trying to build a spring muc web application and automatically tries to register dispatcher servlet if it is not already registered okay and one more example is if you have any embedded database drivers in a class path such as h2 database or sql database and if you haven't configured a you know data source bins explicitly then spring boot will automatically register a dis, you know data source bin using in memory database settings so we no need to explicitly configure the bins so spring boot takes an opinionated view of the application and configures various components automatically uh, by registering bins based on the dependencies that you have provided in a class path so very very important guys just understand how spring boot works and how the magic uh, spring boot is doing behind the scenes all right great guys once uh, you understood the spring core basics and how the spring boot auto configuration works then you can start building restful web services with spring boot you can create a spring boot project using spring initializer and you can just create a hello world uh, rest api uh, initially and then you can gradually uh, keep creating different rest apis like get rest api put rest api post rest api delete rest api and test all these rest apis using postman rest client or you can write you know rest client code using rest template class to call these rest apis all right so to get a hands-on experience on building restful web services you can create a small project and you can develop a crude rest apis on uh, you know on different entities for example take an example of developing user management system so you can develop a crude uh, REST APIs for user entity or uh, you can create uh, other projects like student management system then you can create a uh, crude REST APIs for student entity let's take a one more uh, project like employee management system over there you can create a crude REST APIs for employee entity as well as department entity so that you can have a one to many relationships like 
one department has multiple employees so you can create a rest APIs for one to many relationship one to one menu to menu like that so that you will get a hands-on experience on developing restful web services with spring boot all right guys great so let me give you a uh, you know very useful uh, video that i have published on my youtube channel that is spring boot mysql gp hibernate restful code api tutorial so this is the tutorial uh, which i have uh, published few months back and in this tutorial uh, you know i have explained you how to develop a restful crude apis for simple user management application so this is the starting point for any spring boot beginner so you will build the apis to create a retrieve update and delete user and then you uh, you will also able to learn how to test the rest apis using postman rest client so this is a very useful video guys just go through it if you want to know how to develop restful web services with spring boot so along with building restful web services you also need to learn how the REST APIs, uh, you know, handles exceptions and errors, and you, you will also need to learn, uh, you know, how to validate uh, different request parameters. All right. The next step is build web applications. So it's really important for you guys how to build uh, web applications using Spring Boot. So go ahead and create a Spring Boot project uh, with Spring MUC module and create Spring MUC controllers and use either jsp timelip or free marker or groovy as a template engine for a view layer so basically you create a spring boot project with spring muc uh, dependency and then you create spring muc controllers and then service layer dao layer using spring data jp or hibernate and then you create a view layer using either jsp timelip or free marker or groovy all right so just try to learn how Spring MUC works and how to develop Spring MUC web applications using Spring Boot. So please learn both how to develop RESTful web services and how to develop Spring MUC web applications using Spring Boot so that you will understand the differences. Okay. So what are the things I need to uh, you know uh, take care uh, when I develop a REST API using Spring Boot and then what are the things I need to take care when I build spring msc web application using spring boot so you you, un, you will understand the differences all right once you familiar with building rest apis as well as web applications with spring boot all right great next step is develop microservices with spring boot and spring cloud so apart from spring boot you should learn spring cloud so once you are familiar with building rest apis with spring boot then i highly suggest you guys to also learn uh, spring cloud because spring boot and spring cloud uh, you know simplifies the development of microservices and spring cloud offers a lot of you know infrastructure services that are required to build a whole microservices projects so spring boot and spring cloud uh, you know it take years entire architecture of microservice projects we, as a developer we need to only focus on the business services or the business logic all right guys so i highly suggest you guys to you know to learn how to develop microservices with spring boot and spring cloud so next step is follow the community read official documentation sign blog so if you want to deep dive into the spring boot uh, things then you can just follow the communities out there uh, for example on twitter facebook uh, you know uh, reddit and uh, if you want to uh, deep dive into the spring boot then the important uh, uh, thing is you can you know read the official documentation so over there you can uh, you will learn everything about spring boot if you read the official document obviously and you can follow the blogs uh, there are a lot of popular uh, blogs out there uh, for spring boot all right guys and you can ask questions uh, about spring boot on stack workflow so apart from these things spring boot also provides a lot of features so you can explore spring boot features like actuators so spring boot actuator provides a wide variety of production ready features without requiring developers to write much code so you can use spring uh, you know spring boot uh, actuator to view the application bin configuration details application url mappings environment details configuration parameter values and registered health check matrix so you can use spring boot actuator to do all these things guys which is very important just have a look into uh, you know spring boot actuator and you will also need to learn 
uh, embedded servlet container support in spring boot okay so by default tomcat is uh, you know embedded servlet container in spring boot and you can also use jetty undertown all right so these are the different uh, servlet containers that spring boot uh, provides support all right guys and you will also learn uh, the logging and profiling concept in spring boot you should learn how to deploy a spring boot application on deployment environments like production testing uh, development staging etc okay so guys i have published a lot of videos on spring boot on my youtube channel if you go to my youtube channel and click on playlist and so look at here this is a spring boot for beginners and spring boot tutorial playlist so these two playlist contains all the spring boot videos so if you are beginner and want to learn spring boot then check out spring boot for beginners playlist and if you are already a, a spring boot developer and if you want to learn the advanced spring boot concepts or the project development tutorials then check out spring boot tutorial playlist okay for example let's let's jump into spring boot for beginners playlist so look at here you will start creating and set up spring boot project and then you will gradually learn how to develop spring image application with spring boot and time leap and how to deploy spring boot war file to external tomcat server and you will learn how to develop crude stps using spring boot mysql jpa hibernate and you will also learn how to handle exceptions in spring rest api and how to validate request parameters with hibernate validator and one to mapping menu to menu one to one and you will also learn how to develop a real-time project using spring boot and time leap and you will also learn uh, how to develop a registration and login module using spring boot and hibernate and you will also learn spring security with spring boot and a lot of things guys okay check out this playlist and if you want to learn more advanced spring uh, boot concepts or how to develop projects using spring boot then check out this playlist over here i have provided a lot of project development uh, tutorials with spring boot and other technologies okay great all right guys uh, this is pretty much that i want to uh, discuss in this video uh, i i hope that you at least get an idea how you can start learning spring boot step by step all right so don't jump directly on spring boot just learn spring uh, core basics and the other java double technologies and then you will understand spring boot and what how, you know how spring boot is doing behind the scenes all these magics you will uh, come to uh, know when you learn the spring core basics and other java double technologies okay all right guys uh, i hope this video uh, you, you will find useful thanks for watching guys i will see you guys in next video